Scrapbookers, this is Megan, and I am back to share with you part one of my December Daily Day 25. So Christmas Day, I took so many photos and I wanted to include all of them, so I decided to break it up into two different parts because I think it took me like an hour and a half to two hours to finish these spreads. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six pages for December daily or for day number 25. We had an awesome Christmas day. It was a really good day. So much fun. And I just wanted to make sure I documented everything about it. So here you can see I have a photo of my boys sitting on the floor in front of their stockings and we woke up right and early on Christmas morning. I think Mark woke up at 5.50 and I just kind of like I was kind of awake but kind of not and I finally woke up and got out of bed around 6.20. I was so crazy tired. But my boys are early risers, especially on exciting days like Christmas Day. So, we woke up early. Here I, this is where I decide to use this piece of paper for this whole day. Well, for this whole left hand side, I guess I should say. Which I really, really, really love this paper. I love both sides of this paper, but I thought the red side was going to be a little bit too crazy and too bold for the photos. So I decided to use this calmer, uh, cleaner side pattern paper that just has the, um, what are they, snowflakes on them. So here I'm using my olive close to my heart ink and I am going to pull off a couple stickers from my Simple Stories sticker packs and I'm going to put them on both of these bigger photos. So that top photo I have one that says December 25th, believe, and then Mary, Mary, Mary. This is where I decide I'm going to ink the edges of the stickers so I did have to pull them up and off of the photo but it worked out okay <clears throat> that bottom sticker says Merry Wishes and I'm also going to put three uh, let's see those are stars three star stickers on the bottom photo there I kind of do a lot of playing around and fiddling and I'm thinking that that is probably why it took me so long and again I was still trying to use up all of my scraps and I should have just thrown them away I really should have just not tried so hard to use them all up so now here I'm done with those two big photos and I'm going to move on to the left hand side the two by two photos so you can see here that I have this, um, this little, I don't even know, like manila folder, I guess you could call it. And that came in a pack. I think it was a Teresa Collins pack and I have a ton of photos. So I thought it would be kind of fun to include this little manila folder with some of the photos on them. So I'm going to kind of stick some of the photos in there and some of those stickers and set it aside so that I can concentrate on just one side or one pocket page at a time. So here I'm just going to cut down each of these pockets and I think I cut them up and then I end up not even using them because I was just tired of having to use only partial scraps and then just kind of yeah I just got tired because my pictures weren't full two by two and the scrap wasn't two by two and so it was just it was just too much work to have to make it fit in the pocket so here I do that top photo and that is a photo of Jonas um, and Tinian and well I guess all three of them are there and they're just looking through their stocking stuffers and just being excited I thought it was a really cute photo 
Then this next photo is a picture of Tinian, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, it's a picture of Tinian, and he got... I think he's holding a Splatoon character. He, There's a video game on the Wii U, I believe, that's called Splatoon or Splatoon. I don't know what it's called. And um, it's one of his favorite games to play. He loves that game. So he got a little amiibo character, I think is what it is. And he was super excited about it. This next pocket I am going to work on is, let's see, a photo of Brennan. And he has been asking me for this book and it's called The 26th Story. And I don't even know what this book is about. But he has been asking me for this book, and it was at his book fair this year. And so I picked it up at the book fair, and I set it aside because I knew he wanted it really bad, and he would be so excited about getting it in his stocking. So I stuck it in his stocking, and I don't know if you can see his face very well in the photo, but he is super excited about this book. And then the funny thing is, is that he told me, I've already read this. And I was like, what? You told me that this was a book that you really wanted. And apparently he had already like checked it out at school and read it at school. I just thought that was hilarious. But he was like, I'm so excited to read it again. So, so I'm glad that he's still excited that he has his own copy of the book. Okay, so I'm still working out the kinks in my... <laughs> Oh, getting my uh, papers the right size. So now I'm going down that photo of Brennan, and I'm going to ink the edges on all of these photos or papers. I'm going to also use this photo of Mark. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, I, st I think I tried to put that photo of me there for some reason. I don't know why I did that because I was trying to keep it divided between morning and, and afternoon and, and night between each one of the days or pages. So here I am using this photo of Mark. I He had told me before, like I think it was... A couple weeks before Christmas, he told me a bunch of games he wanted, and they were on sale at Best Buy, and so I went and picked them up. I didn't tell him if I picked all of them up. I didn't tell him if I picked any of You know, I just, I told him I was going to buy them. Or I had him write up a list of all of the ones he wanted, and I bought him every single one of the ones he wanted on the list, as well as a few more. And so this was just a photo of him opening up all of those games and he was really excited about getting all of them. I don't think he thought I was going to buy them, him all of them. So I think that made him really excited. Okay. So now I think I'm done with all of the photos on the left side. So I am going to move on to the right side. Now I have this polka dotted paper and I couldn't decide if I liked the polka dotted side better or the chevron side. I'm going to go with the chevron side. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I wonder if I would like the polka dot better. But it's done. It's scrapbooked. I think I'm just going to leave it. And I think actually I'm using the other side for a journaling card. So couldn't do that anyway. Okay, now I'm just looking through my stickers here. I wanted, so this picture is a picture of Mark and I opening up this cute little present that Brennan had made for us. And he made it at school. And it's just a tin can that he painted and decorated to look like a snowman. And I thought it was so super cute. So I had Brennan take a photo of us after we had opened it. And I just thought it was cute. So I'm trying to spell out the words from Brennan, but I am getting down to the bare minimum of these tile stickers. Um, I think, let's see, so the word from is in all caps, and then Brennan spells his name B-R-Y-N-N-A-N. I didn't have any N's, lower or uppercase, didn't have any A's. So I kind of had to um, 
make up my own letters from what I had. So I spelled out the word from in red, and then B-R-Y is spelled in green, and then N-N is spelled in red because those are two U's that I turned upside down and made them into N's. Then I also used a V and made it into a capital A, and I used a lowercase u and made it into an n. So it was kind of a big maneuvering job with that, <laughs> but it worked out in the end. Okay, so now here I am going to work in this little card that you saw me put together, I think a couple days ago. I don't remember exactly when I put together this card, but I am going to put this picture of Mark. Um, so we got a ton of snow um, let's see, the Friday before Christmas, I think Christmas Eve it didn't really snow that much, but then Christmas Day it sn started snowing a ton. So Mark had to go out and shovel for a long time, and I even went out and shoveled for a little bit. Um, so I just snapped a photo of Mark in shoveling the snow um, from our door to the driveway. So that is that card. I am going to glue that down to closer to the left hand side of the card because the card wasn't long enough. For some reason I had my measurements were wrong. I'm going to also glue a sticker that says Winter Wonderland up at the very top left. I'm inking it with my Hollyhock Close to My Heart ink. And then I also have another sticker that says Let It Snow, and I'm going to ink the edges of that with my Olive Close to My Heart ink, and then I'm going to glue that down in the top right hand corner. I'm also going to use two gray enamel dots and one kind of whitish, off whitish enamel dot. And that card is done. I think I do have to end up cutting off part of the edge. Maybe not. Maybe it does fit. So you never know with these <laughs> cards that you make up yourself. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so now let's see. What am I doing? I'm just trying to figure out exactly what else I want to do. I, let's see. Oh, I found the word yes, and I put it on that card of Brennan, very excited about the book. And then here I'm going to cut up some different papers and piece them together. And you can barely even tell that they're pieced together. You can, can't really see the background on these, these ones up here at the top. So the reason I am doing two parts, like I said before, is because I think this, the spreads for this day probably took me close to two hours to make. So this first video is, I think, 16 minutes long, and then I think the next one is probably around the same time. So 15 to 16 minutes. And then I will do a flip through once my kids go back to school. My kids are still at home right now. It is December 30th. So I'm thinking that by the time I get through all of posting all of these videos, my kids will be back in school. So I'll ha be able to have a, um, I'll be able to have a final flip through video for you. Hopefully by the end of the first week of in January which is the soonest that I have ever finished a December daily project. Usually it takes me until the end of January to finish it. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. So here I'm just going to piece together these scraps. Okay. Now I am going to glue down the photo and then that is going to be it for those three photos up on the top. So I didn't really explain what these photos are of. Um, that photo that I'm gluing down right now is Jonas reading one of the books that they got from Santa. The photo in the middle is Tinian showing Brennan some of his new amiibos. And then the one on the left is Mark giving Brennan a kiss because Brennan um, picked out a game 
for Mark that he really wanted for Christmas. So I just thought that was really cute. He was being, he was giving him a really big, loud kiss, and I just thought it was funny. Okay, so now down here on the bottom, I decided to do something a little bit different for the background papers. I am going to use this washi tape just on some white scrap paper, and then I'm going to glue the photos down on top of it. And these mats are going to be really small, so I wasn't being too picky about how the paper, the washi tape was going onto the paper. And I'm just going to do that for all three of these images down here on the bottom. And I do have to trim down the washi tape a little bit because I did have it go over the edge just to make sure that it, it looked okay. And I'm sorry about my head. There's a lot of um, me leaning in to the video, so I apologize about that. Okay, so that photo on the left is a picture of Brennan using their new computer. Um, the photo on the first page, I didn't really explain that photo. Um, so the boys and Mark are all gathered around their new laptop, and Mark had set it up and shown Brennan how to do it. Brennan was the lucky one, and he got to use it first. So that photo on the left-hand side on the bottom there is a picture of him playing Minecraft on their new laptop for the first time. This middle photo is a picture of Jonas and Tinian eating their Christmas donuts. Mark had bought them donuts the day before because they are super picky about what they eat and even though Mark makes yummy 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 um, sausage rolls for Christmas every year um, Brennan and, or no, Tinian and Jonas don't really like them. So Mark, Brennan, and I eat them on Christmas morning, but Jonas and Tinian don't, so Mark bought them some Christmas, um, donuts. That photo on the right that I am gluing down right now is a picture of Max eating one of the cookies that he got in his stocking. And that is it for this spread so far. I hope that you are having a great new year and I will be back tomorrow with day number 25 part two. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!